There we go, there we go, let's get it baby. What is up YouTube? Welcome back to another video today, ladies and gentlemen. And today, and today we're diving in deep, baby. I posted a Q&A on my Instagram story and I basically said, ask anything guys. I want us to get real, real deep with this. And so in today's video, we're doing a Q&A and I'm answering topics that I've never really touched on before. And I'm just gonna be completely honest. Hashtag unfiltered, baby. I'm extremely, extremely pumped to get this thing going. Now, mind you, bro, I'm not joking. I'm not joking. There were some weird questions. And although we're not gonna really answer the really weird questions, I'll give you guys an example, right? Can I have 40 doll hairs? Okay, all right. <clears throat> How do you have beautiful chest hair? Okay, that's, that's, that's a question. Not my kind of question, but that's a question. Genetics, I'm gonna go answer that one real quick. Genetics, bro, life hack. Wow, these are actually kind of inappropriate. So, those are just some of the basic weird questions, but it gets really, really inappropriate. I mean, I did say ask anything, but we're gonna answer the questions that legitimately need to be answered that I'm finally able to share and I feel comfortable sharing. So let's go ahead and get this thing rocking and rolling, baby. Yo, Loki, by the way, this is my dad's truck. Uh, this is hefty baby, alhamdulillah. It is like, um, it is definitely spacious in here. So that's why the, there's a little bit of a car change. Yo, when I buy the Audi, I'll let you guys know. But anyways, let's get into question number one. I'm, like I said, I'm super, super pumped to get started. Like I said, these questions are really, really good and I have not answered them before. So let's go ahead and dive right into it, baby. Yo, by the way, tell me if you like the beard combo better or the mustache combo. Or should I just baby face it out? Let me know what you think. I personally really enjoy the beard combo, but the mustache is definitely has its own kind of language going on, you know what I mean? But for question numero uno, baby, tips on diet. Like I said, guys, it's gonna get really, really good. Tips on diet. So the biggest tip I can always get on diet is Diets and workout routine, I always want you to associate them with a goal. Whenever you associate them with a goal, that means you're attaching them to emotion, which is extremely important if you want to accomplish anything. It needs to mean something to you, okay? So some of the best, biggest tips I can give on diet is number one, find your goal. So are you losing weight? You know, Are you building muscle? Now when you got that, whenever it's time to go shopping, we're only gonna shop for the stuff that's going to help us achieve that goal, okay? So if you have, you know, cinnamon buns daily just on the table as, you know, decoration slash a snack on the go, chances are you're gonna cheat on your diet, right? But if you replace that with apples, if you replace that with, you know, some sort of fruit, chances are you're not gonna cheat on your diet as much because in your home is only the stuff that you need to accomplish your goal. And it just comes down to how serious you are about it. You know what I mean? So attach emotion to your goals and know what you want and then start only putting things in your home that you need to really succeed in your goal. It, obviously, you will, you can have your cheat meals, bro. That's A-OK, -okay, I promise. Cheat meals are great whenever you've earned them. But, not but, however, if you really, really want to stick to it, take all the unhealthy slash all the sugars, all that stuff out of your house and only put in the things that you need. So the main summary of that tip, only have the stuff you need around you. Make sense? <clears throat> I'm telling you bro, it works. Question number two, how do you stay so motivated? So I definitely think I'm more disciplined than I am motivated and literally bro, it comes down to how badly you want to achieve your goals. Because motivation is what starts the work to achieve that goal, right? But discipline is what keeps you going in that goal. So how do I stay so motivated? Well, my, I want it. I want to go after it. You know what I'm saying? My, I, I'm chasing it. You know, I, I want to achieve it. I like, you, you got to get clear about you what you want, right? I know that I want to be the best version of myself 24 7. I want to be the best version I can humanly possibly be, or maybe even, you know, supermanish be. You know what I'm saying? Always pushing to your best limit, absolutely. And now for the discipline part, bro, discipline. 
like I said, that's what happens after motivation. Because everybody can get a motivation, you know, burst. But it's who's disciplined whenever times are hard. Whenever times are great. Who's going to be the one that keeps on grinding? You know what I'm saying? So I think we need to start focusing a little bit more on how to stay more disciplined. We're about to hit some back. I'm actually really, really pumped about hitting the back day. Really trying to grow these lats to the best of their abilities, mate. There you go. I'm motivated to stay the bet 20 or oh, a E. That was that okay. This is the gym fit. Alright, so we've got the polo shorts, we've got the white tank, and then the gray hoodie slash zippered up jacket. I don't know how good the lighting was right there, but that is the gym fit for back day. Yo, yo, yo. Big life hack on, you know, just getting after it, buddy, in the gym is one, either train really early in the morning, like mess with your schedule a little bit, right? And you'll start loving it, I promise. Two, find a time every single day where you know you can like just go and get it in. Even bro, even if it's for 30 minutes, dude, like I'm serious. If you can work out for even 30 minutes a day, I promise you, you will feel so much better. Yes, there's times whenever you wanna stay in longer, bro, but I think you just need to start focusing on just getting in there consistency, consistently, bro, which does what? What does it do? It creates discipline, baby, and that's what I mean by constantly pushing it through it, through the highs, through the lows, through everything, bro. You're pushing through it because you are a disciplined individual and you want to conquer your goals. All right, this one's not a question, but I love you. I love you too, man. I really, really do. I'm genuinely, wholeheartedly, 100%, head to toe, toe to foot, ear to ear. Love you guys. I appreciate every single one of you. But now it's gym time, bro. Yo, low key, low key. It really just depends, you know. Sometimes I really, really enjoy hitting some shoulders. Like, you know, that question, what's your favorite body part? Uh, and usually mine is just on low key, low key, mine. <sighs> Probably some shoulders, yo. It's just a good shoulder day make the way, you know what I'm saying? So shoulders is definitely one, and then number two, chest right now, and then third back. My favorites. Uh, that's that's the favorites right now, my. Those are the favorites right now. Okay, that's my own language, by the way, guys. I've made my own language. It's called Fidella... Fidella... It's just called Fidella, bro. That's what it's called, Fidella. All right, all right, all right. Next question. All right, yo. <clears throat> yo, next question, yo. All right, next question. Don't play with me. <clears throat> Ready for Thanksgiving? Yes, bro. Alhamdulillah, I'm pumped for Thanksgiving. You know, the turkey and the corn and the mashed potatoes, but uh, my mom be adding like an Arabian mix to it, which I absolutely love. Uh, but yes, definitely ready for Thanksgiving. Ready to put on that good weight and then get absolutely shredded. Before the Thanksgiving dinner, you gotta get a great lifting session, bro. It's rules, it's rules. Dude, workout was nuts, bro. Like literally, really, really high intense back day and it was freaking awesome, G. It was awesome. And remember guys, all of a lot of my workouts come straight from my workout routines on fidella.com. We've got gain season, uh, lean machine, operation downsize, and we have a booty builder program for anybody that wants to build that booty. So if you do want a crazy freaking workout, bro, check out fidella.com. A lot of things coming soon too. I'm excited, bro. Let's get back to these questions, Mike. Okay, okay, I eat Chick-fil-A. Okay. Let's get straight into it, my <clears throat> Tricep workout, please. Dude, all right. There's a billion exercises you can do for triceps. Lower I lay one. Maybe not a billion, but there's a lot, okay? If I had to ring it down to five really, really good exercises, we're going to go cable, rope, push down, okay? Next cable straight bar push down and if you need help on how to do them literally search it up bro search it up on google uh dumbbell overhead press dumbbell kickbacks and then we're gonna finish off with tricep press machine those five exercises will literally shoot your triceps to the moon bro and remember whenever you're doing triceps yo like 
you gotta make sure you're doing the thing right, Mike. You know what I'm saying? You've got to make sure it's time under tension. So what I mean by that is really feel it out. That that those word those two words mind muscle connection three words mind muscle connection is a real thing the more you focus on yourself in the exercise on that muscle the more you will get out of it bro i i legit promise is it science backed up yes by scientist fidella i don't have a degree but those are my top five tricep workouts my oh i'm kind of hungry not gonna lies to you after a workout it's like you can eat a whole cow mate or even a uh Okay, or is it the saying is I could eat a horse. Don't eat a horse, guys, horses are beautiful. Make sure you're eating the correct amount of macros or just getting the fuel you need to push yourself to really get the most out of your workouts. It's extremely important that eating part, like no joke, bro, eating is a is 90% of your fitness journey. The workout part is 10%. That's the saying, but I think it's 85, 15. Just my personal preference. You know what? The new saying is it's 85% diet, 15% workout. Woo! I'm telling you, bro. Getting consistent with a diet, easier said than done, obviously, but is easy. You know why? Because when you have what you need around, that's all that's going down to town. That's good. For meal number one, AKA brekkie, AKA breakfast, AKA breaking the fast, AKA meal number one, we've got four full eggs so what i mean by that is the entire egg so egg white egg yolk and then we've got two egg whites and what i mean by that is the egg was cracked and the yolk was taken out and used for later which comes out to roughly uh one egg is six to eight grams of protein on the high end 48 grams of protein now these are large eggs obviously you want to add your own twist to it and you're like bro like you could add and make a sandwich on that yeah you could right it's just whatever you like to enjoy. And your boy Fidel loves it. Ooh. Ooh you know, the real way to get anything done or to achieve anything, I genuinely believe is consistency. Now, like, hear me out, right? A lot of times for your fitness goals or your money goals or whatever, you just need to be consistent, bro. Like, that's just what it is. You need to stay consistent, consistent with the gym. You know, I want to look this certain way, so I need to push myself harder every day. I want this much money in the bank, so I need to keep grinding this much every day and some and some and some. You know what I mean? If there's always advice that you can live by, it's consistency always wins, baby. So stay consistent in everything you do. Now, Let's get back into these juicy questions today, all right? And remember, y'all, I'm, I'm trying to keep the weird ones out, and there's a lot of weird ones. This is a big one that I get a lot, and it's why did you stop wrestling? So, for everybody new here, I did used to wrestle, okay? From ages like, I'd say 15 to about 19, I did wrestle, and I had a blast. But the reason I kind of came to a stop with it is because I wanted to do other things, okay? So this, for example, I absolutely love inspiring, educating, and motivating anyone I can. I love doing things like that. I love showing off my hard work. I love, you know, I love modeling. I love doing all these things. And that is my main priority. That's what I want to do. That's what I love. And that's what I wanted to grind at. So for me, after, you know, whenever wrestling was time, you focus completely on that. But I was like, you know what? I loved how I did it. You know, it was extremely, extremely fun, but there's more extreme, extreme fun on this side as well. I've made my mark and now I want to make a bigger mark in this other thing, this. The main answer to that question, why did I stop wrestling, is I wanted to pursue what I do now, and I absolutely love it. Like I said, I love educating, uh, modeling, I love inspiring, all these things. I genuinely, genuinely love it. But wrestling was extremely fun. This is going to be a way, way funner thing. And everybody has stages, you know what I mean? Grind to everything you do, because I'm telling you guys, whatever you decide to do, that is the focus. That's what you need to focus on. So, for example, when I was wrestling, 
I wanted, my goal was to be the absolute best in the country, bro. And that's no joke. In the country, I wanted to be the best. Now, for what I do now, I want to be the best. And what I do next, I want to be the best. I want to be the best in everything that I do. So whatever you're in, right? Give it your 100,000% maybe. Next question. Do you speak Spanish? My main languages are English and Arabic. My background, y'all, is I'm Iraqi and I'm Syrian. That's where my parents are from, so I'm Arabian. Those are my two main languages. Obviously, English more uh, and then Arabic, but I know them both extremely, extremely frequently. But I am open to learning more and more languages. So, shoot, uh, Mandarin, you know, Russian, Spanish, Italian, you know, anything, bro. I'm literally the more, the absolute better. But the main languages are English and Arabic. That meal was a 10 out of 10, alhamdulillah. Say hi to my dog, guys. This is Blue. He's a rescue, sorta, of, kinda. Blue, sit, sit. This is my buddy, Blue. That's his room. Blue, sit, sit. I think he want, he wants to go outside. He's very ruckus. Let's go, let's go outside. Come on. Ruckus might, ruckus might. Go outside. You know what's funny? Whenever it's time to come inside, he opens the door. He just invites himself into the house whenever he feels like it. But that is my dog, Blue, B-L-U. He's the, not my dog, specifically, he's the family dog. And he's a big boy. Freshened up and cleaned up and ready to answer these questions, baby. So on to the next question. How can I start in the gym? So I've answered this on numerous occasions, but I'm very happy to answer it again. I call it the three-step plan. And that three-step plan is number one, create a goal. So know exactly what you want out of the gym and let's get specific about it, okay? So I wanna build 10 pounds of muscle, I'm gonna lose 50 pounds, all right? That's the goal, we're specific about it, okay? And you can even put a set date on when you want to do it. Number two, we're going to get on a plan. So either you make your own workout routine and diet plan or you hop on a workout routine and a diet plan that aligns with that goal. And number three is getting your feet wet, aka get into work. I think that is the absolute best way to get started in the gym. Because like I said, whenever you go into the gym with a plan, it it's, it's like... Whew, it's amazing because you're there for a reason and that is to accomplish your goals and get absolutely better. Next, how do I get buff like you? Consistency always wins. And so this is five plus years in the training, 100% natural day in, day out, eating the meals, constantly grinding. Obviously with the gym, you want to recover the right way but consistency is what will help you get larger or reach the goal that you want, whether it's losing weight, getting absolutely diced, whatever it is, consistency is how you reach it. And like I said, 85-15, 85% diet, bro. You need to be on a diet every single day aiming for it. Now, whenever, you, whenever I say diet, diet's a great thing, bro, especially if you enjoy the food. Find a diet that aligns with your goals. So. Hit those macros, make sure you're eating the right stuff you need every day, so consistency with that, and then the other 15%, work out, work out, work out, work harder every single day, baby. So that's how you grow in size or achieve any one of your goals. Yo, 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 if you're new here, baby, subscribe, let's get it. Next, what's your favorite color? Green, easy. What's your favorite animal? A wolf, I love a wolf that and a lion. What motivates you to work hard? What motivates me to work hard is the fact that you can always become better, okay? So you can literally, literally, literally become better all the time as long as you are itching for it and as long as you are grinding for it, you know what I mean? So I think one of the big things that motivates me is I, I just know that you can be different by just consistently going after what you want. So that motivates me. And another really huge thing that motivates me is just, you know, there's there's people you got to look after. You know what I'm saying? And I, I, that's a lot of pressure, but I, I love it. You know what I mean? I love that, you know, 
it motivates me that I, I want to supply for my family and for my friends and everybody that I love. You know, I genuinely, genuinely love that. So that's another big thing that motivates me. So top two is you can always get better and you can literally achieve any dream slash goal. You can do it as long as you have a goal, a plan, and execute. And then number two, my family, huge motivation. I love them. Huge, huge motivation to become my absolute best. Are you an introvert or an extrovert? So, okay, both. Oh, you can't say both. Yes, I can, and I'm gonna tell you why. So I'm an extrovert to, I'm always open to trying new things, um, like going new places and all things like that. I'm always trying new foods, uh, trying new techniques and all things like that. I'm, I, I love it, I love doing things like that. But I'm introverted in a sense of like, I'm not, I don't like going to like parties and stuff like that. Granted, whatever, you and your girl, you and your friends hang out here and there uh, to like go do something, that's fine. But like, when it comes to like socialization, like I basically, I guess I could basically put it as in, I like being around my close circle. Does that make sense? Like people I love and people I trust. Now I love meeting and I love, you know, doing things and I love all that. But when it comes down to the nitty and gritty, I genuinely love being around the people I love and I trust. So, partying and all that, it's not really for me if I'm gonna be completely honest. But hanging out with the people I love, 100,000%, um, hanging out with family and like really, really, really close friends, I'm all for it. But if I had to pick one, I'd say I'm probably more introverted. If I had to pick one, I'm a bit more introverted. If you, like, if you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? And I get this one a lot, and it's how do you say your name? I have, everybody just call me Fidel because it's so much easier on the tongue. But my real name is Fidelala, F-A-D-E-L-E-L-L-A-H. So, but in, it's an Arabic origin name, and in Arabic it's Fadlala. So Fav, instead of Fidel, it's Fav, Fadlala. Um, and that's, like I said, an Arabian name. And so imagine like, but in English it's Fidelala, right? So, but that's just a tongue twister. So I've always really gone by Fidel, but as I grow older, I, I, I introduce myself more as Fidelala because I, it's my name, you know, and I love it. From now on is Fidelala, but if you do speak Arabic or if you just want to say it with an Arabic tone, Fadlala. Just kidding. But I do hope you guys enjoyed that q and I loved it. I hope you loved it. I hope you guys did enjoy the Q&A. Give it a thumbs up. If you did, if you're new here, shoot me a subscribe. If you're old here, give me a thumbs up. And y'all, comment down below what you think of the video, what you want to see next. You know I appreciate it, love. But, quote of the video, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? Okay? You ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? The quote is, the weak are dominated by their ego. The wise dominate their ego and the intelligent are in constant struggle against their ego. So you decide how you use your ego. Don't let your ego consume you. Um, always stay humble and win and in defeat. It's okay. I think it's completely okay to have an ego, but you gotta know when to like use it, if that makes sense. So that's the quote of the video. But again, I really do hope you did enjoy this YouTube video. If you do have more questions, just shoot them to me, email me, inbox me. And also, ladies and gentlemen, as you do know, I do offer fitness programs on Fidela.com. So if you need any help with losing weight, getting shredded, building muscle, a diet plan, it's just so many programs, bro, so many programs. If you do need an extra push in your fitness journey, check it out, fidela.com or link in bio. They're four to eight, 12 weeks long, so definitely check them out. And y'all, if you want to check out more of me, all my social links are in my bio if you wanna check out some more of me. Other than that, but remember, the weak are dominated by their ego, the wise dominate their ego, and the intelligent constantly struggle against their ego. Get after it, baby, let's go!